in today's video guys I'm going to show you how you can make your Modern Warfare 2 look amazing like really outstandish good that you have a competitive advantage in terms of visuals I'm going to explain everything which you can change straight up on your gaming monitor here in 2022 to get the best color settings in Modern Warfare 2 and after that I'm also going to show you a few extra steps which you need to apply in your Nvidia control panel to really make the colors vibrant colorful and have an actual advantage since the colors in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 are kind of washed out you really need to work against that with a few specific settings which are going to give you a huge competitive advantage. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like. And I, by the way, also made a full on guide about the best Modern Warfare 2 settings for input delay and max FPS, which I can recommend you to watch afterwards. But now let's get straight into it. So guys, and now for the best monitor settings, just simply make sure to copy everything which I'm going to show you right now here on screen to make your Modern Warfare 2 look as good as mine right now here. We first of all have an option which is called Black Equalizer, guys. And this one you're going to put on 10. Color vibrance, I have personally on 10 as well because this is just like the standard value. I don't really like to make it like too oversaturated since we're later on going to change something in our video control panel to make it look better. Then for low blue light guys I gotta keep this on 7 because this is the best looking value in my opinion you know where we still filter out a lot of the blue light. Gamma I like to keep on 3 as well because yeah it looks the best in my opinion you know not too light and not too dark. And for color temperature guys I like to keep it on bluish you know we also have something like reddish or user performed one and this is a very specific reason because reddish again goes a lot into this like orange red color scenery and it just makes the game look horrible in my opinion if you keep it on bluish you have a straight up difference between the sky and the actual ground and it just all makes the scenery look a lot nicer for the picture options guys you gotta now search for a specific monitor because not every monitor has the same features but a lot of the gaming monitors nowadays have a feature which is called ama which is basically motion clarity which gives you just overall a better picture with less motion blur because motion blur as it already says makes the picture like super unsharp and therefore gives you a competitive disadvantage if you don't have a mode like AMA it's maybe called a little bit different it really depends for different monitor factories they name it always a little bit different but here on my Zoe XL2566K 360 Hz panel it's called AMA and I gotta put it on ultra a lot of people also prefer maybe on or maybe like on the previous Zoe XL2546 which is also super common for esports it's called the same way and I can only recommend you ultra it works the best and of course if you have a Zoe monitor guys don't forget to utilize Diac Plus because this is exactly why this monitor is so much better even than the a little bit higher refresh rate Acer 390 Hz monitor by the way laying on the bed behind me since Diac Plus just gives you overall so much better picture. Uh, by the way I also have a full on test video of the brand new Zoe XL 2566K which I can only highly recommend you to check out. But yeah now we're basically done already with all the monitor settings and I hope you could see them on screen here which I would personally apply and now let's hop into the media control panel and change some more saturation settings to really put on these fine tuning options. So guys and once we applied everything in the first place on our monitor we're gonna know go into a video control panel and there you can already see under the display section we have adjust desktop color settings and you can see here in the first place I obviously changed digital vibrance guys and what digital vibrance is well basically it's kind of like the saturation level of your picture on your monitor let's just say that we're gonna put it all the way to the left side you can even try this on your own monitor you will see the colors are becoming extremely washed out so therefore what I would recommend you for digital vibrance put it on 50% that is the sweet spot 100% because we have another additional setting which we're also going to change which is going to make your picture look perfect like straight up guys I'm not joking first of all we're gonna apply this of course here in the background and then we're gonna go to adjust video color settings under video you know and under there we have now with Nvidia setting and there we have also something which is called saturation yeah the rest we're not gonna touch guys like previously just simply focus on these two options which I'm going to show you and saturation on 75% looks the best in my opinion guys like don't tell me this background footage doesn't look amazing like literally the game looks so colorful it's so much fun to hop in and I'm going to tell you straight up if you enjoy like how the game looks like sorta of, you're also gonna enjoy the game actually more I don't know how that happens but that's just simply how it is for me I already did this back in CSGO days you know when everyone was asking how do you pros make the game so colorful or streamers you know it was like super colorful the colors were amazing well this is exactly how you can do it guys saturation on 75% everything you gotta do basically just simply make sure to drag it here over if you go a little bit above you can also experiment around with it you know a little bit but personally I wouldn't really recommend you to go above it or below it because 75 is just the sweet spot then we're gonna click here again onto apply and you're already done here 